Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to our brand new series, Armor Up. And I am just so excited, guys, about this new... I just feel like this... The timing is so revel, relevant, excuse me, to be able to share this with you guys. Because, guys, I just truly, genuinely believe that we, that Satan is after families. And, I, and he's after relationships. He's trying to cause division. He's trying to cause separation. But, guys... If we stand on the word of God, if we stand and know his truth, and we, if we gird up daily, if we walk in the spirit daily, then guys, then th th we will have an experience of victory in our lives. And I just want to encourage you guys in that. And so I just want to just briefly touch on the armor of God, because many of us do know about that, but there may be some that may need a reminder about what those different things are, or may not even know of things, know of what the armor of God is. So I just want to briefly just go through um, a few of the scriptures that has to deal with this. And it's found in Ephesians 6, starting in verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the, against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, against spiritual forces of evil and the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand, stand firm. Then with, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to take all this, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish, I'm sorry, excuse me for my, <laughs> all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit daily on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and, with, and requests. And guys, I just want to encourage you guys in that to walk, to put on a daily. Be, and to walk in the spirit and stand firm. Guys, there are times, and I'll admit, I mean, even in myself, there are times where it's like, okay, God, what else can I do? But he says, stand firm. Stand on your, in whatever faith. Guys, it says in the, in the Bible, that Jesus had said in the Bible that even if you have faith as low as a mustard seed, it can do things. And guys, I just, I am just going to pray here shortly. But guys, I am just excited about this new series. I believe it's so relevant. Guys, I, I just, I want to just end up praying real quick. And I'm then I'm going to just finish up here. Father, I just ask you. Father, you've placed this on my heart to be able to share, God. And I just ask you, God, that, Lord, I ask you to just move right now, God. Whoever's watching, move in their situation, Father. I ask you, God, to help us to be just bold in our prayers. God, give us a boldness and stillness of boldness and experience. Expectancy, God, to see things change, to see things happen. God, no matter what fiery darts come at us, God, no matter what things and life throws at us, God, help us to know and remember that you are God, that you see and you know, and there's victory in you. All that we have to do is armor up. All that we have to do is declare those, declare your word over each situation, God, over every relationship that we have, Father, over our families, over our marriage, over our children, God, and we will see the victory, God, and we just have to keep on declaring those things until we see it happen, and I thank you, God, for it, God. I thank you, God, for this word you've given me to be able to share. God, I know it's not just for other people, but God, it's for myself too. I'm including myself in the number one place on spot on this. And I just ask you, Father, to just move, move in everyone's lives watching right now.
God, move in their situation. God, let transformation, let change just start taking place. God, the prayers they've prayed for, whether it be uh, years, whether it be months or whatever, how long they've been praying, God, let the, just increase their faith, Father. Let them take up their their shield, God, once again, to be able to know when to come, combat every situation, every thought that hits them hard, Father. It hits so hard, God. But God, you are greater. And I ask you, God, to give them strength, give them courage, God, to stand firm in their faith, stand firm on your word, to see those things change as see transformation take place. We give you all praise, all glory for it. In Jesus' name, amen. So, guys, I want to share with you guys this quick devotion right here. And I meant to do this on Father's Day. But I just want to encourage you. This is more geared toward fathers. But, guys, this is for single parents. This is for even grandparents raising children. Whatever the case may be, whether what whatever you're facing, this I just want you to claim to this. And, and so it's called Father's Armor Up. In Ephesians 6, it talks about putting on the armor and girding ourselves against the attacks of the enemy. We as fathers and head of our home, we must have and take our place as the leader to make sure our families are girded up and ready to fight against whatever may hit them in in you. As fathers, we must armor up daily. If we don't, we make ourselves and our family a target. How do we do that? Number one. We know scripture and we pray. It sounds so cliche and simple, yet God has called us to be and do that. Number two, we pray over our children and spouse and home. Number three, we pray as a family. It says when two or more agree touching anything, it shall be done. Number four, don't leave your sword Bible at home and take it with you daily. So armor up, fight the good fight for you and your family. And guys, I just, I want to encourage you guys to... To just get your kids involved in this, guy, if I, fathers, grandparents, single parents, get get those children involved in this, because if you do, you are training them, you're setting them up, and they'll start, and you'll you're planting those seeds to be like okay, and they'll remember later on in their life, whether they be young, whether it be teenagers, whether it be whatever whatever age they are. They'll remember later in life that you ended up implanting them and sowing those seeds into their life. And they'll go back to that. I firmly believe that the Holy Spirit, whenever they're going through things later in life, that the Holy Spirit can and he will just remind them of the seeds that you planted in their lives. And in those moments and of, of those difficulties in life, you may be facing... Um, trouble in a marriage. You may be facing conflict. You may be facing disagreements. You may be facing where the Satan's trying to separate you and trying to cause division in between maybe you and your spouse, or maybe it's you and your children, whatever the case may be. God, God is greater than that. I just encourage you, fathers, just speak life and just let's do war. Now's the time not to be timid. Now's not the time to give up. No matter what, if you feel like you just have not been getting anywhere, your prayers have not been getting anywhere, I encourage you, let's that find other fathers to find someone to be able to, and just to do this with you, and to encourage you, and and, e- and even, thank you, Jesus. Guys, I just encourage you, I'm going to pray for marriages. I just really feel led to pray and left at marriages right now. Father, I just left at marriages to you right now. God, you have meant and you've called, Father, for just marriages to to be 
uh, joyous and be a wonderful thing. And God, I know the enemy will do all they he can to cause division, to cause conflict, to cause separation, to cause just things to go wrong. But God, I ask you, God, for each husband and wife, Father God, that may be watching this, Father, let them realize, God, that, that their spouse is not their enemy. God, that they are not fighting, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against all the principalities, against demonic forces. But God, you have given us power over those things. And Father, I ask you to just let there just be unity that just draws Holy Spirit, just be in the midst of each marriage, of each relationship right now, God. And I ask you, God, that you would just put all the broken pieces back together, God. And let there be unity. Let there be joy. Let there be fulfillment once again in marriage. And I just thank you, God, for that turnaround right now in Jesus' name. Guys, I just encourage you guys to just dig in. Guys, that your partner, like I said, is not your enemy. God, it, and I just, God, I just thank you, God, for just everything that you're doing. God, I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I just can't, I cannot let this go. It's just so way so heavy on my heart. And I, guys, you, I'm going to lift up children right now. Father, I just lift up the children right now, God, whether they be young, whether it be old, God, the ones that have gone astray from you, God, they're the ones that may be gone off to do with the things that they know they shouldn't be doing, but they're doing anyway. God, draw them back to you, Father God. Draw them back, God. Send your Holy Spirit to just draw them back in to the family, God, to just... In Jesus' name, God, and let whatever the devil meant for bad, let, I know you're going to turn it into good, into a testimony. We give you all praise, all glory for it in Jesus' name. Guys, you, you, as husbands, as fathers, as whatever, the head of your home or whatever the situation may be, don't give up. God is going to move, and if you just keep on pushing for through, if you keep on standing firm, Guys, you, you are going to see a breakthrough. You're going to see just things take place. I just encourage you guys in that. And I'm just so excited about this series. I'm so excited of just the things that I really, that's God's put on my heart. And guys, I'm going to be honest. The enemy has been attacking us left and right. But greater is he that is in us than anything that's in the world. I just want to encourage you guys. I know this one is a little bit longer than usual. But guys, just I just want to encourage you to just keep the faith. Keep keep the acronym PUSH. Push through. Push until something happens. Keep on pushing through. Keep on declaring over your children, declaring over your marriage, declaring over your job, declaring over your finances, declaring over everything that's just been coming at you. The guys that there's a victory on the other side. So just keep on pushing through. I just encourage you guys in that. And I just hope that my prayer is that this encourages someone that it just it just brings encouragement. And I just, if you have any prayer requests, guys, shoot them to us. Contact us. If you don't know Jesus, contact us. And we'd love to be able to lead you in and just in, into a wonderful, the best decision you will ever make. I And thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I, I'll be shooting another video of, uh, we got some exciting things coming up and all that. But just stay tuned and we'll, we'll get to that. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.